Reserve can be a rat's best friend, because there's so much loot spread out in the entire map, especially in low traffic areas. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make money as a rat on Reserve, by showing you the best areas to loot, while also staying under the radar of those stinky chads. With that being said, nothing's guaranteed, every raid is different, but I'm going to try my best to give you guys the best chances of survival, and extracting with a few hundred thousand rubles worth of loot. Now before we get into the video, shameless plug, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11am to 4pm Eastern, come through, roast me, hang out, I'm the Rat King, there's other rats in chat, it's a good time. First let me tell you guys the places you should not go. The underground bunker is a big no-no. The chads rush down here, if you're comfortable with hitting your shots, then by all means come down here, but you clicked on this video and I'm assuming you're a rat like me and I have Pepega aim and I stay away from the bunker. I would also stay away from Black Bishop which is the building that the helicopter is facing uh, also known as the drop down building. There are four spawns right next to this building and all of these spawns rush here. The drop down room has tech spawns like Tetris's and GPU's so unless you get the spawn for it, avoid it. Now that we've talked about where not to go, let's talk about where we do want to go. Let's start with my favorite, Black and White Knight. These buildings can be found right across from each other, and you can identify them by the chest pieces painted on the side of the building. In these buildings, you'll find mostly hardware loot, but the thing about these buildings is that between them, there is around 40 filing cabinets. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm a slut for filing cabinets in Tarkov, so this is like a wet dream for me. And to top that off, the roofs for both of these buildings have massive amounts of weapon parts and attachments, and those go for pretty decent on the flea market. Before we get to the next building, there's actually a spot that can be easily forgotten. Right next to the helicopter, there's this little gazebo looking thing. There's actually a crawl space under here, and it's filled with valuables like horses, vases, clocks. Along with all of these, there's a lootable body and a duffel bag. But careful with this spot because if somebody sees you go in here and crawl in, all they have to do is throw one nade and it's back to the menu for you. Next I'll talk about White Pawn. There's duffel bags and other loose things here in the building, but What's notable about this is the roof. The roof, similar to the night building, has massive amounts of gun parts here, and also has three jackets, but there is a problem. Dome has a clear shot of the roof, perfect for sniping people who aren't careful. If possible, I'd wait a little further in the raid to avoid getting domed from dome. Heh, <laughs> see what I did there? Speaking of waiting till further in the raid, Black Bishop, aka the drop down building that I was talking about earlier. I know I said to avoid this in the beginning of the raid, but that doesn't mean avoid it altogether. Yes, everyone's going to rush for the tech room like I said, but the building actually does have a lot of loot that gets passed up because people only have eyes for this one room. There are rooms on the second and third floor that have shelves in the back of them that can spawn hardware and sometimes even military tech like cables and filters. And if you don't know, tech especially military tech, sells really well to vendors and on the flea market. Well, now that you have all this loot, what's the safest way to get out? Well, in my opinion, the safest way is probably sewer extract or manhole extract, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the only problem with this is that you can't use a backpack when you extract. Uh, so the strat for this would be to bring a giant vest in like an AVS or maybe a belt rig, something that has a lot of space, load that up and uh, skedaddle with that. My second option would have to be cliff descent, but for this you can't have body armor on and you need a red rebel melee weapon and a paracord. And at this point in the wipe, I just checked it, red rebels on the flea market go for around 6 million rubles and I'm guessing if you're watching this video then you don't really have money to be spending on that. But if you've got the money saved up, definitely snag one. Honestly, pick any extract except for D2. D2 is dark and scary and spooky and full of campers. There's so many angles, so many corners that people could hide in that it's not worth the heart attack when they get to jump on you. I'm an old man, 
my heart can't take jump scares like that anymore. And that about does it, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you learned something. I hope this video helped you in some way. If it did, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Wow. Thanks for sticking around, guys. That was a really fun video. But guess what? This video right here, way cooler. Also, like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out. Thanks.